All right, let's get to it. So there's a few things you can do with your old Xbox. I'm gonna turn this into a MAME machine, which is a multi-arcade machine. Um, it's gonna basically have its own cabinet. You can buy all these parts online if you want, but I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, without spending any extra money. So if you have a controller that detaches like this, uh, that'll work best. You don't have to have it. You can just have an old controller. And you're going to want to have a uh, one of these here. This is a USB extension. As you can see, it has the, uh, the part that goes in the computer and then you would plug in the other side of another USB cable to extend it. Okay, so this is the extension that you get on an Xbox controller. Now we are going to use this side for the MAME and I'll put that in a separate video, but in this video we are going to be creating a USB uh, controller. And so if you have wire clippers, if you don't have wire clippers you can use a razor blade, but go ahead and just cut this off and we want as much cable on both sides. So turn that around. Okay, so we're going to use this side for the memory card hack. Uh, for now we're just interested in this side and then take your USB extension and we might as well give ourselves some further length so I'll just go halfway down the middle cut that this side is going to be used for the memory card and this side is going to be used for the controller so take a razor blade now and just slice off the sheath. You don't want to push too hard otherwise you'll break into the actual cable, the wires on the inside. Okay, peel back all of this protective foil. Here you have the four cables that are inside a USB cable. Um, you have the red, which is typically power, the black, which is ground, and then the green and white are typically data control wires. So we're going to strip the same off of this end. And hopefully we'll find the same color wires. Some of them, uh, when they're produced, use different wires, but that is the standard, the red, the black, the green. Now there is a yellow wire inside the three six or the Xbox controller. The yellow wire is uh, not necessary for what we're doing here, so we'll just trim that short, get it out of the way. Since we don't need it, that is uh, just an exclusive communication between the. Xbox and its controller. Okay, so I have a soldering iron. It's warming up right now. Uh, if you don't have a soldering iron, you can just twist the wire around each part and um, use electrical tape. A lot of times I can strip these with my fingernails, but it looks like I'm going to have to use a razor blade. You want to make sure that you're not cutting too deep. You just want to cut through the insulation on the wire. So there we have that wire exposed. We'll do the same to the rest. The ground is considerably thicker. So this one here I just stripped with my fingernails. The ground wire is a lot thicker but the rest are thin. And there we go. Okay now we need to do the same to this wire and then we will join them. Okay, so we got all that. Now I'm going to take off this shielding here. 
Now we're going to join each wire and then I'm going to solder them together. So let's start with the ground. It's always a good idea, even in this case there's no electricity going through it, but you want to start with ground. That's just a general rule of thumb in electronics. Okay, so we have the ground. Now let's go to we have next. We'll go to white to white. Okay. And then we will go red to red. And then finally green to green. Okay, now is time to solder, or uh, if you don't have solder, you can just use electrical tape and wrap it around. But this is a lot more secure of a way. <clears throat> and it, uh, it doesn't take much. Just want to get a little drop on there. Let it fuse those wires together. Okay. And it dries pretty quick, or solidifies, I guess I should say. Now, soldering irons are not that expensive, and if you're going to be doing any kind of modding to any extent, it's worth buying yourself a soldering iron. You can get them at Harbor Freight or Radio Shack, probably even Home Depot. Okay. All right, we can unplug the soldering iron now. And so the next step, what you want to do is just cover all of those. You don't want any, um, any of these touching, so just cover them with electrical tape. Or you want to make sure that none of the shielding makes contact with your wires. Okay, so here we spliced it all together. I'm not going to uh, finish making it look nice until after I test it out, just in case a wire isn't uh, joined properly. But anyway, this is what it should look like. And then you just plug it into the opposite side of your Xbox controller. Okay, so I'll put a link to in the description below to the drivers for the Mac version as well as the PC drivers for the Xbox controller. And I'll go ahead and plug it in. I'm running Mavericks OS 9, uh, OS 10.9. Okay, so once once you install that driver, it should recognize it immediately. And as you can see, all of the buttons work. Triggers shows you. Now this is actually off center just slightly, but whatever. Anyway, all the buttons work, so then you just plug it into whatever game you have, or if you have an emulator. Okay, so it worked, so I'm just going to clean this up by putting some more electrical tape over the whole thing. But that way, it'll keep all these wires from getting damaged or pulled out. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful, gave you something useful to do with your old Xbox controller. Now you can hook it up to either PC or Mac and play emulators, whatever you want. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the section below. Let me know if there's any other hacks you want to see. And subscribe for more videos.